Now, Kevin Spacey called his death an unspeakable loss. Hollywood has been paying tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman, who was found dead in his New York apartment yesterday after a suspected drug overdose. At just 46, Hoffman was among the most admired and accomplished actors of his generation, but it seems his drug addiction had spiralled out of control. From the United States tonight, Inigo Gilmore has this. I, do you think I took this job to spite you? <laughs> <laughs> He's been hailed as the greatest actor of his generation, a man whose range and depth was often unsurpassed in the roles he played. I'd only just handed them the final scene when the bellhop told me I had a phone call. And it was my stepfather, Joe Capote, calling to say that my mother had died. It was his standout performance as writer Truman Capote that cemented his reputation as an acting genius. <laughs> I did everything I could. Okay. He was acclaimed for capturing the dark complexities of Capote's volatile temperament. I mean, it's torture the way what they're doing to me. He often played complex, troubled characters, which reflected his own inner turmoil and personal battles. For 24 years, people have been trying to kill me. People know how. He was found yesterday afternoon at his New York apartment. According to reports, he was lying on his side in a T-shirt and shorts with a hypodermic needle embedded in his left arm. Police sources say heroin envelopes were discovered near his body. He had talked in the past about his problems yeah, with went, drink uh, and drugs. I got sober uh, when I was 22 years old. So this was drugs or alcohol or both? Ah, uh, yes, all, all that stuff, yeah. <laughs> There's anything I can get my hands on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I liked it all, yeah. And why did you decide to stop? You get panicked, you get panicked. It was, um, I was 22 and I got panicked for my life. It really was, it was just that. All right! One of his greatest skills as an actor was his ability to slip into a range of roles. He did comedy. Come on, I'm burning. And big blockbusters too. The only way you're gonna get what you want is for you to. You think I'm playing way? You don't think I'll do it? Where is it? But Philip Seymour Hoffman will be best remembered for his more anguished characters, who often had a dark side. He was recently at Sundance Film Festival promoting two forthcoming films. In this one, he plays a German spy. You know they'll find him, and when they do, he'll be on the first plane back to Russia. In what's believed to be his last interview, he appeared a little out of sorts when he spoke about playing the role of a petty criminal who loses his stepson. He's, uh, he's my age. I think he's dealing with issues that have to do with you know, working with, uh, with middle age. Your friend, your <laughs> the Oscar goes to Philip Seymour Hoffman in Capote. Police are trying to piece together the last moments of his life and the source of the drugs that are thought to have killed him. According to reports, the envelopes found at his apartment were stamped with a logo, Ace of Spades, apparently a potent heroin cocktail linked to 81 deaths over the past three months. A resurgence of this potentially lethal fix across America has now claimed one of its greatest actors, just at the moment he was being acclaimed for some of his most brilliant work.